Hi, today I'm gonna show you how to get 1 Hz clock pulse from an ordinary clock mechanism. This is a typical clock mechanism that we can find in an ordinary clock or in the market for 1 to euros. If we take apart this mechanism, we see the small circuit board which is a crystal oscillator. We notice also a big coil that is connected to the oscillator's output and uh, moves a magnet gear, its time is fed with a pulse. However, if we connect this oscillator's output to an oscilloscope, we notice uh, that this output is not one hertz, but half a hertz. This means that every two seconds we have a positive pulse and a negative pulse. And what we have to do is to convert the negative pulse to positive pulse so we have two positive pulses every two seconds which means one hertz so let's see how with some simple parts we'll take the one hertz frequency generator with the resistor and the capacitor we make an RC network which is called differentiator this network gives us positive and negative spikes and this happens either the input is a positive or a negative pulse. The only difference, as we see at the simulation program, is that the negative uh, pulse from the clock gives us first the negative spike and then the, uh, the positive spike. But this doesn't affect at all the frequency of uh, one hertz in, since the, the initial clock pulses of half a hertz are stable. Following with the positive spikes, we turn on an NPN transistor to get the 1 Hz frequency. Now, if we want symmetrical pulses, we use a 555 in a monostable operation. The resistor RD and the capacitor CD adjust the duty cycle of the pulses. At the end, this is the complete circuit on a breadboard with a green LED blinking. At the oscilloscope we watch that the, our 1 Hz frequency is uh, quite accurate. Thanks for watching and uh, if my video helped you with your project uh, then uh, please click like or leave your comment. Thanks.